With COVID vaccination slowing dramatically, Governor Polis says testing will be especially important in keeping the case rates down. But he's very few schools are enrolled in the state testing program, while those free at-home tests are in very high demand. Jeff Todd taking a closer look. Jeff, those at-home tests have gotten hard to get. Jim, the state rolled this program back out last week. I signed up immediately, and just about two hours ago, these showed up on my doorstep, but the demand has skyrocketed so high, the state says it is now taking several days for them to get these tests out to the thousands of Coloradans who want and need them. So it's vaccine plus. Uh, until the pandemic is over, we're leaving no stone unturned to protect our communities, to power the Colorado comeback, and to save lives. The state has brought back a program to deliver these home tests to Coloradans. Originally launched in the spring, the program went dormant as the coronavirus cases diminished in the summer, but with the Delta variant surge... We're thrilled with the reception of it. We always want demand to be more than supply. Demand for these tests has returned. This is great. It means every test we get is getting out into the field without delay. Somebody who wants it, somebody who will use it, and that will have an impact on the epidemic. The tests are self-administered and only take 15 minutes to get results. The governor is hoping people in high contact jobs will utilize at least one test a week to drive down the spread. Demand is now about 5,000 a day. And as we work through the backlog in the next week to 10 days, uh, if it stays stable, uh, we expect that we'll be able to, on an ongoing basis, you know, meet that demand within a week or two for the at-home testing. The state is also asking people who take these at-home tests to report their results so they can continue to track that data. And they do want people to still sign up so that they can get more of these tests out around the state. If you need a test sooner than that, they are urging people to go to the 110 regular testing sites that are still set up all around Colorado. We're live in Arvada tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.